So another day in the classroom today and, and really thinking about confidence. How do I get my students to be more confident and how do I help them be willing to propose a, a possible solution or an idea or or, or even a, a hypothesis or, or whatever. And, and maybe you have a lot of kids that they're uh, plenty ready to blurt answers out. And some sometimes, you know, like uh, for me, I'm a math teacher in high school and, you know, some groups of kids, you know, I got lots of kids willing to propose answers. And, and some some classes, the, the kids just all seem really quiet and mellow and, and subdued. And, and maybe part of that is uh, connected to uh, the pandemic and they've been uh, alone and, and kind of uh, are not around as many people and so they're not as willing to, to share or, or uh, communicate and things like that but but man I, I gotta try to help build confidence in them and, and real confidence so so I make sure that every assignment every everything that we're doing there's always some kind of question something that can push every kid a little bit further you know maybe for some kids that's question number five and for some kids it's question number ten um, just something that pushes them a little bit further to try something a little more challenging something that they didn't quite think they could do um, but when they try it and even if they don't get it right um, they've still uh, made a made a good effort uh, and they're willing to try next time so thinking about that uh, and how I want to build that as part of the school culture both in my school and in my classroom.